Hello, it's Ruby and last week I moved to Oxford to start my MST in English Literature and specifically 1550 to 1700 Literature. In Oxford you have week zero, which is the week before term and classes actually start and I wanted to bring you along with me on my week zero. I kind of wish that I brought an umbrella with me now. And I've also got a coffee. I just wandered around in the rain. Honestly, I'm so glad that it rained this day. It did not last for long though, because there was a heat wave very shortly afterwards. Specifically, I went to the Bodleian to explore. This is the Duke Humphreys Library, which you are able to study in. It's actually where they filmed Harry Potter. And I also ran into some mature students and we explored together before I sat down in this library to do some work. I was reading from this book, which is a book of criticism by Demand, and specifically it related to allegory, which is what we're going to be studying in the second week of term. And I also read C.S. Lewis's Allegory of Love. I really enjoy C.S. Lewis's theology, actually. Um, I've read a few of his books, which aren't the Narnia books, I mean, and I've got to say it wasn't my favourite book of his, but there were some interesting snippets, and I love how he puts allegory and symbolism in opposition. It's a really interesting model, actually, because both the allegory and the symbol are trying to portray a truth, but the allegory does this by mapping that truth onto a fiction, a fictional story, something which is quote-unquote less real, whereas the symbol is rooted in the real world, represents a feeling or idea, so they're reversals of each other, and I'd never thought about it that way. I'm about to head out and study, I've got my books all ready to go, um, but I first of all just wanted to unbox this. I mentioned in my moving vlog that I needed to buy a cashew seal, I was just waiting until I moved in. I got this from Argos. I like how it tells you the temperature as well, because with some types of tea, like matcha and green tea, you don't want it to be boiling. I really want some tea right now. So excuse the fact as well that my tray has just got loads of dirty stuff on. I am gonna have to get another tray, I think, um, because I forgot how useful having a tray is when you're going back and forth from the kitchen. And I've decanted all of my tea stuff from this tray so I can actually use it. Sorry, I know that's really gross. That's my stuff from breakfast. I also got this. So in the Bodleian, you can bring tea or coffee, but it has to be in one of these cups, like one which is certified by the library, which makes sense because I obviously don't want people spilling drinks all over the um, all over the books. So I bought this today. So I'm actually going to make some tea in my new kettle and then I will bring it in this too. I don't know where I'll study actually. So after that I went to do some work in Crosstown, which is a donut place. Um, I got their vegan pumpkin donut, which was so delicious. And then I went to Blackwell's to meet those friends that I've met in the morning um, at the library. And we just did some book shopping. We looked around, spent like an hour and a half just admiring all of these books. Honestly, Blackwell's in Oxford is gorgeous, but specifically the Broad Street one, it's just so massive. And then this is me back at college. I just went to this study spot and 
did some Latin work. I'm doing an optional module in Latin for beginners this term, which I'm so excited about honestly because I've wanted to learn Latin for a long time and I tried teaching myself this last year but I fell out of the habit of doing it. It will be a really useful skill to have because so much Latin crops up in early modern texts, especially religious texts, and I want to be able to read it. So our tutor had put up the work for week one and what we'd be looking at, so I familiarised myself with that and I also did a translation which took me about an hour in total. So one of the things we did was translate some riddles by Alcuin, and I thought I would share a few of my favourites with you. Okay, so I love this one. What is a letter? The guardian of history. And then this one. What is sleep? The image of death. This one I find really funny as well. Um, where is it? What is snow? Dry water. And then I popped into m and to pick up some bits for dinner. I really wanted to try this pasta sauce. It's a vegan mascarpone tomato pasta sauce. And it was really good, even though my pasta looks disgusting. And at the same time as cooking and eating, I was listening to this round table discussion on decolonizing bibliography and book history and bibliographic studies, which was really interesting. Good morning, it's Tuesday today and I've got my course induction this afternoon which I'm so excited about. It starts at 2 but at 1 everyone on my strand is going for coffee just to meet and um, like see who else is on the strand because there aren't many of us, I think there are 13 or 14. I'm going to head out to Jesus Library and then also to Pratt and maybe on to the Bodleian to do some studying. Um, I haven't decided yet while I'll, where I'll work but let's go ready for another exciting day in Oxford. So I popped into the college library to return three books that I'd finished. Honestly having all of these libraries so close is slightly hazardous. I'm taking out so many books um, but I'm trying to return them quickly so that I'm not keeping them from other people. Um, there was another library in the Bodleian which I wanted to try. This is the one where all of the philosophy and theology books are kept. And the book I'm reading here is Circumstantial Shakespeare, which is actually a book by one of my tutors, which is so cool, honestly. I still can't get over the fact that like at university you're taught by the people who are writing these books. And then I went back to my room and I just did a little bit of dissertation work. So I was looking through Ebo, which is a digital archive for early modern texts. I was looking through some court documents and broadside ballads and taking some notes on those. Things that might be relevant for my dissertation. Then I actually had lunch in college for the first time um, and I could not get over the architecture of this room, like the fact that this is our dining hall. Then next I had the faculty induction, which was basically a whole afternoon of being introduced to how the course will run and how English works at Oxford. I went to the library beforehand, of course, and just took out some books to read for pleasure. And I didn't get any clips actually during the induction because it just didn't feel right to film. Okay, it's... 10 to 7 and I just got back from our faculty induction. It ended at 5 but I ended up staying on with two friends who were just so lovely. Honestly, I met so many nice people and um, we ended up popping into Blackwells on the way back. Um, and yeah, it was really, really great. I've actually now got therapy so I'm going to log on to that and maybe I'll check in afterwards but I'll probably see you tomorrow. Good morning, it's my college matriculation today. It starts at 9.30 and it's currently 9. And I'm already, I'm just show you what I'm wearing. So it's a bit of a mess. I've still got my plate from dinner from last night. Um, but I'm just wearing my favorite polka dot dress. <laughs> No photography or videography was allowed during the actual uh, ceremony. Oh, as well, do you like my little 
Sherlock poster. This is from The Hound of the Baskerville. So I'm sorry that I didn't film anything. We were introduced to all of the like key faculty and uh, members of the college first. It's my dad's birthday and I'm just messaging him. And then our names were called and we shook the principal's hand and then we signed our names in the ledger it's like a college ledger and everyone who's admitted to the college signs their name in it so it's now uh, about quarter past 11 and i'm gonna get started on some work in particular i'm gonna send over my dis the audio at the end of that clip cut out but i was going to say i'm gonna work on my dissertation proposal which is what i was writing up here, this is just a vague outline that we needed to send to our tutors so that we can be assigned dissertation supervisors. Okay, that took me an hour and a half. It's now one o'clock and oh my gosh, halfway through, I was writing on Notion. I trust Notion so much. I would trust Notion with my life. It betrayed my trust today because I accidentally deleted um, the whole of my dissertation proposal and then it wouldn't let me undo the delete um, and the track changes weren't showing that I did deleted so I had to rewrite it which is quite annoying but it's all finished now and I'm just going to email it over which honestly is very nerve-wracking um, but it's it's allowed to be up to 500 words and mine's 300 they said it can just be one sentence um, so I don't actually know if 300 is too long then I'll probably head out to a library to do some work. I want to do some reading for my A course. We just got our hand out yesterday with all of the week one reading that we need to do. Uh, it's just extracts, it's not very much. But we've got some questions to answer too, so I might head over to the Bodleian and the fact I can say that and um, do some reading. And then it was the freshers' fair. So each of the colleges had a different time slot where they would go to the examination school and then walk around. But it was still so busy, honestly, it's so packed. And it was all a one-way system, so it actually took a really long time to get the whole way around. But I'm glad, and yeah, it was really packed. As you can see, it was hard to move. It was good. And I made a note for some societies I wanted to sign up for, but I was so drained after that. More for a break than anything, I went and did some more studying in the Bodleian. And then I went book shopping with Lucy, a friend that I've made on my course. And after that, I came back and made dinner. And as you can see, I was just reading some of those Chekhov short stories whilst I was cooking. Um, and the final thing I did this evening was finally do my mood board, which I've been meaning to do since I got here, but I just kept on putting it off and I really love the way it looks. It's so funny, as soon as I said that, somebody came and sat down in the room too. So that's why you obviously can't see someone else in this clip. Um, but I was just making a start on these questions. And then I went upstairs and I read like 30 pages of these short stories, which I was really enjoying. It's nearly nine and I'm going to head out and get a coffee from Pratt and do some more of those question preparations um, that I was doing this morning. Uh, I didn't make much progress with it, honestly. It's quite a long task. I want to spend probably another like two or three hours on that today. So let's go out. What do I need? I will bring this, of course. I'm going to bring this to read. This is Circumstantial Shakespeare, which I started. My handout is in here. There's also an essay by Ruskin, which we're going to be reading in week like four or five. I think I might try and read that today because I do, I was writing out my to-do list and I don't have that much to do. Oh, also there's something actually really important I need to do. I'm speaking in a debate at the beginning of next month. Oh my gosh, that's actually really soon. 
and I haven't finished writing it or like researching it. But anyway, let's head out. It's 8.47 already. I got a bit distracted reading this morning, but I'm really enjoying these short stories. It was really just cozy, sat there reading this morning. So we had to do um, consent training as part of our induction and so I just did this online. It took me about an hour in total. I just had a wonderful catch up call. I have one every week with Timmy who I work with on pumpkin productivity. He's honestly amazing and I could not run the company without him. We had a catch up on the undated planner which we're releasing, um, hopefully, well, that we're releasing for Christmas this year instead of the yearly planner. And I've booked him for lunch actually in the halls so I'm gonna go over for lunch now. I think it's like half an hour till it ends. I can't remember what was on the menu but I just saw the menu and I was like, that looks really good so I booked lunch. Oh my goodness, okay, this is the highlight potentially of the week. No, I can't say that. Meeting new people is the highlight, but this was pretty incredible. I went to the Taylorian library, which had been recommended to me by someone I'd met. It was just exceptional. It's the most gorgeous library I've ever sat in or been in, and I just could not get over the fact that I was studying here. Um, I mean, I think I might even like it more than the Radcliffe camera, which is a big bold statement to make but genuinely the architecture of this library was exquisite and whilst i was here i was doing some reading for my optional module and i read delusion and dream by sigmund freud which is a commentary on the book gradiva where he offers a psychoanalytic approach to this book basically into the Ashmolean for like 20 minutes and just went and looked at the Flemish art and I love the idea of making this a quick study break. After that I headed back to college and again just can't get over how beautiful Jesus College is. Um, I was also sent this quick unboxing, this was gifted to me by Mini Timers, uh, it's a Pomodoro timer and it's so satisfying to use. I know that I'll be using this in so many of my study with me, thank you so much Mini for sending me this. In just over half an hour we're meeting our seminar group for my c course module which is the optional module that i've chosen and i'm doing that module in decadence movement literature so it's called writing art and we're looking at kind of late victorian literature i'm so excited for it but in the meantime i think i'm just going to write up a morning and night routine uh like a general routine um that i can follow next week because i think things are going to get hectic quite quickly and i just want to make sure that i'm keeping like a solid routine in place because I always feel best when I've got a good morning routine in place and possibly also make up a timetable to print. There is something I was going to do in this gap in between and I just didn't do it. I went food shopping though and it's a bit messy in my bed but I bought a pumpkin 
It's like a cooking pumpkin. I thought I could roast it up and have it for dinner tonight. Anyway, I will probably check in with you after I've met about that module and I'm sure I'll be on a high because I'm so excited for this module. So our introductory seminar was in Trinity College, which is beautiful. And then after the seminar, one of my course mates showed us around Teddy Hall because he's at Teddy Hall and three of us just walked around a little bit. It's honestly been so fun to meet new people. I just got back. Um, it's a little bit later than I was think than I thought it would be. It's ten to seven now, and um, I just had like an introductory class with um, the rest of my seminar group. Met everybody, and it's such a nice seminar group. Honestly, I'm really excited for this module. I think it's going to be really good, and actually nice to have the Victorian aspect there as well. It's such a unique course, um, and it's the first year that this module's running. It's semi in collaboration with the Ashmolean Museum and. Um, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to it. We also got assigned presentations and I've signed up for one of the presentations on Tuesday So um, tomorrow I'll probably get started on that and try and get that finalized Probably I'm just gonna do a tiny bit of admin for pumpkin productivity because we're releasing tote bags this Christmas to go with the undated yearly planner and I'm just gonna get the design put together um, so that we can get that order placed on Monday. But yes, that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have more than just a productive week.